Hi guys, welcome back to the Regal Gentleman YouTube channel of the Regal Gentleman Studio. Today we've got Jack in the chair. How are you, mate? I'm good, thanks. You're good? I'm very well, mate. I'm very well. So, what are we doing today? What's the plan? Um, well, I've been growing it out since uh, February 2020. Okay, and okay. It's a lockdown, I didn't want to shave my head. Yeah, yeah, fair play. Uh, um, it's so, it was just a short back and sides, and now I've just grown it out, and it feels like there's no real style or anything. Okay. I do actually quite like having long hair, so I don't want to lose too much length. Okay. But maybe just, I don't know, maybe so it's not just a mess. Okay. Okay, yeah, no worries. I think, I think what happens is when you do just grow it out in one go, I mean, well done for growing out though, mate. I mean, th this does take some perseverance, you know? Yeah, um, it it's not. It, do you know what? It, it, it should be because you're just growing your hair. But yeah. the problem is there's so many things you can do nowadays, especially how it's like, uh, opened up. You know, it's going out for drinks and dinner and things like that, you know, you, and you want to look good, don't you? That's the main thing. But the problem is when you grow it out from one length, so from a previous haircut, you end up with just really long layers. Yeah. Okay. So the difference, the, the difference in length is is minute. You know what I mean compared to what it would have been as a short back and sides. Yeah. So the top will be longer than the back and sides, but you can't really tell at this point. Um, in terms of the length, do you like the overall length? Like, are you happy with it being down to like the sort of shoulder blades kind of length? Yeah, possibly just a little shorter, but. I do quite like it. You do like it? Okay. Do you just want to be able to wear it down and so it's got a little bit of shape in it? Is yeah. that really what you want? Okay, yeah, that's fine. Um, well, what we'll do, I think in terms of, if you like the length as it is, what I recommend best doing is making it match. Okay, and what, what I mean by that is, with the neckline being so low and the hairline above the ears being so high in comparison to the neck, you will have that, that sort of shape like this on the neckline, which you can see if I just spin you around to the camera. Shorter here than it is here, okay? So I think what would be quite nice is to match up to this length. So what we'll do is we'll pull this length back to the middle and we'll remove what is coming down there. Maybe not all of that, but most of that. So then you've got a longer style. So it won't be as long as it is now because it does look a little bit dry on the ends as well. I don't know if you've noticed that yourself, Jack. The, the ends are a little bit dry. So you could get away with maybe taking off an inch, maybe an inch and a half. And that sounds an awful lot, but it's not. Yeah. In comparison to how long your hair is, it's not. This bit won't change. Okay. This will stay the same. I might just take off the very, very dry bottom bits, okay? Because yeah. it, it, it could probably just snap if you pulled it hard enough. But this won't change. It'll just be towards the, the middle, at the yeah. back here. That will, it'll take away that kind of uh, drop in the middle. Try and make it as square and as straight as possible. But all that will do to you, it'll look exactly like that. But to the back and the way you style it, it'll just have a bit more balance. In terms of... Um, Kind of texture and stuff. I think if you just if you were just to add again just a little bit of, a little bit of shape in this haircut, add a few. I know people say layers, but you know we do a layer in every single thing that we do. But all I would generally do on this is just pick it up in very wide sections and just add a bit of over direction there. So there's just a shorter element within it. Still trying to keep it as square shaped as possible. So there are there'll be this sort of length cut into it like that, about that long. Okay. off the head and what that will do is just give a bit more movement as you run your fingers through it right so i don't want to cut it in a way that's kind of like got three layers sitting down here i want to cut it so it's it's a very sort of hidden texture so you bring that texture out when you run your fingers through it, or you apply a little bit of product but other than that i don't think you need to do too much else okay all right man yeah. cool well let's get you gowned up and uh, we'll get you started mate all right yeah. cool man but i think i honestly I, I i don't think there's any reason to get stick i really don't i think it looks great it looking better today as well so that's yeah. the main thing right can I get that on my voice now? Yeah, 100% mate. 100%, just, just share this video when it comes out, mate. What are your mates' names? Uh, Matt is always one who doesn't like my hair. Okay, Matt. I've always, Reese at work kept telling me to get a mullet as well, he didn't like the hair as it was. It was okay, okay. A lot of people. Okay, so Reese and Matt, lads, don't be giving them stick, because I guarantee you there's a, a, wait until you see the comments in this. Just wait and see the comments in this about how many people say how good your hair is, how nice your hair is. That, that, that's all you need to send to recent matter, so lads. If, you, if you're going to give them stick, grow your own hair out, all right? And see how hard that is to do. <laughs> name and shame, mate, name and shame. Right, so I'm just going to section this off at the round of the head. And I'm going to finish just here at the back. I'm going to over just because I want it to be comfortable while it's long. I don't really want to use clips. Sometimes I find some of the section clips leave, leave um, kind of marks. Maybe movement grips might be quite good, but I think for this, I'm just going to do half and then, other, then the other half as well. All right. So this is the length you want to try and work towards. Yeah. We pull that back. All right. So nice wide sections. Again, we want to keep a lot of length. And the rule of thumb for me, 
more length we keep, the longer the hair is, the wider the section becomes. Adding a little bit of shape, a little bit of movement, I'm just gonna thin it out in a very natural way. So I'm take off by that much, okay? But don't forget, look where I'm working from. Everything's being over-directed from the front to just above the ear. So these two sides will still have the length in them. Let's straight on for me a little bit. There we go. Nice and straight and cut. Another wide section just to where the hairline starts at the back. Take a section from within the last section, so just before the ear, say about there roughly, like that. Nice wide section again. And we're going to use this as our guide now. So this is where our guide's going to come from. How much length we want to remove. Pull that out, and there's our guide. Nice and straight, make sure you pull this into the middle, and then cut. And don't forget, I didn't cut the second section of the hair because I want to leave all the length. So I want to cut the first section at the top and then leave the bottom section, okay? Because then that way it will add that little bit of shape into it. Whereas I'm working down to the behind of the ear now, I want to start removing some length down the bottom, okay? Put in and take one from the previous section, like so. Bring that in to the middle to meet. And then again, we'll find our guide. Pull that out. And there's my guide, just there. Now don't worry if you see my hair coming off, we are following the guide. Take our section out. What we can do now is just a little top layer there. Move that out the way. And we've still got our guide that we're working to from above. Nice and straight. And I'm working that down. So you pull that off, take away the next section, and we're still working on our guide as well. There we go. So they're just for our guide above, because you don't need all that hair in there, like so. So take a section from the previously cut section, push that away, then bring this in, like so. So nice wide section, so we're keeping lots of length. I just really want to break this up slightly as well. Because, you know, we need weight in there as well. For the hair to, to, to naturally drop, we want to keep some weight in there as well. Because I'm going to hazard a guess. Are you, are you blow drying this every day? Uh, yeah. You are, yeah? How are you doing it? Just blasting it though, just with the hair. You're not actually using a brush or nothing like that. No, you're just, okay. So he's just blasting it through. So it's going to be low maintenance, right? That is what long hair still needs to be on a guy. It still needs to be low maintenance, right? So unless he was using a brush and all that kind of thing, he's spending a lot of time on it, brilliant. But if he's not, he's just drying it off. Just I think, you're just drying it off so it's not soaking wet. Is that why, why yeah, you're doing it? So it's not dripping, yeah, exactly, yeah. So all we need to do now is just, we're just adding, adding that kind of um, shape in there, but also we still need that weight for it to drop nicely because he's not blow drying it straight. He's not blow drying it flat. So this needs to naturally fall well. So that's what I want to try and do as well. So that's why I'm taking out the section through here, but leaving a lot of length all the way through. So that does fall and drop quite naturally as well. So I'm not taking too much thickness out. I'm not sort of hacking away and off like that. I'm just working quite nicely through and using this section and pattern to create the movement and texture that we need. So not going to be a huge difference at the end. I don't want this to be a huge difference. I just want this to be a nice balance there because that's going to work for me. When we get to our middle section at the back here, I'm going to work by cutting in the shape, okay? Now again, long hair should not take long. It should be one of the quickest things you do. Now this technique is a very quick, but very brilliant way of cutting longer hair, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my section from here, like so, so I've straightened that out, and I'm gonna bring my section, because this is the guide that I wanna use to keep the hair longer, okay? To use as the guide. And I'll bring that down to here. So wherever the longest point of reference is from the sides, I wanna use to cut my length to. Okay, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say there, that's a good length. So the bottom of the collar, okay? So bring that through. We're gonna use this as our guide, like so. Bring that away. And there's the guide that I wanna work to, okay? Fingers straight across, okay? Bring that straight down. And there's my guide, just there. Just using my fingers, I'm gonna cut straight across the collar. Use the comb to balance, so I can see the guide more clearly, and just work straight across, like that. Now can you see the difference in how healthy that'll be now, how sort of solid and straight it is there? Yeah. Okay. To have a look at the ends. 
Very different. Very different, yeah. Albie. So that, that'll be the difference. All right. A little bit of length there. Pull that through. This all the dryness that we've got. But you see there's still a lot of length sitting through. But as we pull it along, there's still an awful lot of length sitting forwards as well. You just needed that little bit of length off just to balance it. I, I personally feel, and I'm sure you'll see when, when it's all dried through, you'll see what we mean as well. All right. But if you have a look at this now, on the sides here, as you lift the hair around, the shorter hair that helps that fall a little bit more naturally. See when you just pinch at it a little bit. It's not just one long length. Even though that was only one, two, three, four sections, we've kept weight in it. We've tidied the neckline, we've tidied all the, uh, uh, the perimeter up. But we've also added that little bit of thinning out and a little bit of shape in there now that you can still wear around his ears, but it just looks a little bit better than just having long layers all the way through. All right. Now, we work on the other side now, all the way around to that side as well. So what's nice, one side is done, okay? One side is completely done. Now we do, do this side, cut the top in, and we're finished. Again, we don't need to do an awful lot to longer hair to make it work. Less is more. I think a lot of time you wanna use the appointment time to speak to your client, to get an understanding of where they're trying to go. So say you've got half an hour, you could do this in 15 minutes, if you really wanted to. If you really could, just, just cut hair, it would take you 15 minutes, maybe 20. But what you should do is you should use that 10 minutes. So if you've got 45 minutes, use them extra minutes that you have to get to know your client, get to understand why he grew it in the first place, where he's trying to go with it, what he's trying to achieve with it. These are things that I think is worth knowing about with your clients as he is growing so long. Because this is such a big thing, right? I mean, Jack, it must have, you must have persevered so much. I mean, forget the ripping. You must have persevered a lot, right? Just growing it out in general, right? Yeah, it got to the stage where I was trying to put more and more effort in. I thought, I'm going to keep doing this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine. I can imagine. I can't, well, I can't imagine. I've never done it, but I can't imagine what that must be like. Yeah. So that's what I mean. You want to, you know, you want to take pride in this. You want to really make sure that he's getting a good haircut that he wants as well. That's the main thing, okay? Using the guide from our previous equal section and working it through. Coming in this week, we see our guide. There we go, there's our guide. And we cut that through. Right. Remember, it's four sections each, okay? So one, two, three, four, okay? There we go, our guide. Straight into the middle. First bit that comes through our fingers, okay? Bring that through, is our guide. We don't touch the rest. For most of the time, there's no much hair there because the side bends, but also we want to leave as much length down the bottom as we can. All right? Now, same again now. And this around, we've got our guide from the other side that we're going to wear to, okay? Head down slightly for me. Here's our comb. Can use that as our guide. All the way down to the bottom. I'm just taking it with my fingers now, just because I need a bit more tension on it. Last bit is to the top now. I want to match the top to the back and sides, okay? Straight down from the nose, straight down like that. Try and get as central as possible. It's quite important that you get that center part in there. Work this back like so. So it almost looks like an X on the top. 
and just use this here from the sides as our guide, okay? Bring this all the way down and just cut whatever needs to do, okay? Tiny little bit. Pull it down, if nothing reaches, don't worry about it, just get them tiny little ends. Take a section halfway through from the back, pull it down to coincide with that part of the head. So here, there we go. There's a lot of length there, just cut that off and match. Coincide with that part of the hair, bring it down. See I mean? Not much coming through now. Use all this length as our guide down the bottom. There we go. Again, not much comes off, so we just leave that. Halfway through in a section there, and then pull this down again. Not much comes off, that's fine. Just pull it all the way back and down to the bottom. And well, there we go. There's our guides, so I'll pull that through. There's our guides, you'll see, sitting there, like so. And pull it down and just cut straight across. Pull it down and cut. From the section, pull all that back as well, like so. And this does create that nice little layer that sits loosely through there. So it's not all like one length, like kind of blunt length. As you can see, there's movement in there now. It moves around a lot than it did before, but just based on section, okay? It's still got a lot of weight, which is brilliant because I want that to sit very heavy for him anyway. It just makes his life a lot easier when it comes to blow dry in the morning or even just leaving it naturally. One thing I will do though is just fix your side bends for you. Yeah. All right, so just section that off nicely. Don't remove to take away too much length, just want to make it look a bit tidy. So I always do it just to the top of the ear. Like so. Jack ever fancies putting this hair in a ponytail. It looks very, very tidy and very smart. When it's just nice and uh, lined or edged out on the ear. As you can see by just shaping up the hairline slightly and just adding a little bit of a taper through there. It blends nicely into the beard as well. There we go. You see I'm not tapering in too much. I just want to tidy up the natural hairline, take away that longer length, it just sits nice and full. Just got a feeling as well, looking at Jack's sort of sideburns, if we went too short on that, it would look very, very patchy, which I don't want to do. I just want to make it look tidy. Just using the clippers to create that finish. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a little bit of grooming cream in this, okay? Just to kind of add a little bit of protection when it comes to the hair dryer but also it'll just add a little bit of grip to the hair. I'll give you a little bit of texture, all right? Using a fair amount, because you're obviously working through very, very thick, long hair. Grab about that much, all right? Put that into your hands, through your fingers. Though you're applying like a balm or a hand, hand cream or something, and then just start from what we call the mid length to ends. And that sounds like one of the things you read online, but what you do is you're just working through to the ends, okay? So the roots are so healthy. You don't want to add too much product to the root. The main but you want to add that product to is from like halfway to the ends, okay? Now you can, whatever's left, just work through the top, which will be more the roots, but just try and work most of it through the hair like this, okay? So just working it through, so you put it in the ponytail, okay? And then whatever you've got left, just work through like this, just rub it on the top, okay? Just so you're coating the whole hair. That's the main thing, okay? There we go. I'm just gonna blast this, all right? Just blast it off. I'm trying to keep it as close to what Jack would do at home. Because there's no point me doing something that he wouldn't do, okay? All the grooming cream will do is just keep it looking nice and smooth. And also, it's got a lot of good properties for the hair in there as well. So just keep it nice and healthy, feeling healthy and looking healthy as well. I'll drive you underneath. Yeah. 
There we go. Flick it back for me now, mate. Perfect. So in real time, because of this, this little bit might, you know, obviously edit some of the drying process. But in real time, been drying this for just over three minutes, <laughs> which, you know, it just shows you how much healthier it is now. Obviously, there's a little bit less of it, but just the condition it's in as well by taking them dry ends off, it dries so much quicker. So. Even if you were having a hair dryer for this, if you were in Jack's position, the same hair texture, same style as Jack, three minutes is not a long time. But most of the time it takes about 15, 20 for some women as well, you know what I mean? They've got length of your hair. Now finish off some cold air. Put around the hairline first. Give a really nice shine to the hair as well. Start on top and then just work it into the ends like so. Gonna finish off with a tiny bit more grooming cream, just to add a little bit of a gloss. But I mean, it looks nice and healthy anyway. Can you see the shape in that now? Yeah. You've still got a lot of length. It probably still looks very similar to when you came in, but you'll see the back's got a lovely finish on the bottom. You've got a few shorter layers sitting through there now as well. That just adds a little bit of movement. It just doesn't make it look kind of like there's nothing to it. It makes it look like you've actually had a haircut yeah. more than just grown it out. I think that's the, that's the benefit of it when you just, just get that kind of balancing done or rebalancing sometimes, is you just need to make it look like you've had a haircut. And also, it feels nice getting a haircut too, don't you? You've missed out on that for, since February, so you know. Yeah, it's a long time. It is a long time. Now, I literally just used a pea size amount then. Okay, and this is just gonna work it through the hair. Okay, just like that. Just add a little bit of something to it. Like so. Tuck that around his ears. Have that coming over. That's a bit looser as well, like so. There we go. And well, that's it, mate. Happy? Yeah, Thanks, man. Matt, Reese, if you're watching this, look at this for the head of hair, mate. Perfect. Yeah. You know I mean, so you've just got that little, it is still long, yeah. but it just isn't as long. But now it just looks like when you pull that bit back, it just all balances more now. It looks healthier as well. It does look a lot healthier, doesn't it? But look, when you pull it back, it's still got a little bit, it's still a tiny bit shorter, but it doesn't look out of place. Yeah. It doesn't look unbalanced, and that is the main thing. And the finish is really nice on the ends. When you do that little bit of texturizing, and you layer everything over itself from the top down to the bottom, it just creates a very nice, still masculine finish as well, which is the good thing. All right, man, there you go. Yeah, nice you. and easy, man. Yeah.